So, uh, everyone, isn't it funny how things work in this world? Everyone's talking about your your quarterback's haircut, uh, Coach. Um, yours is no longer got a party in the back. Is that correct? If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> right? Business everywhere now. Business <laughs> everywhere. Okay. Um, I, I, I'll ask the question. I don't care if it sounds silly. Does that indicate anything to you? Seriously, like when you say all business, what do you got for me well, on that front? Well, I think the, the biggest thing is this. You know. You know, perception has been preceding Quinn some. Quinn's a great guy. He's an awesome teammate. He's super coachable. Um, and I, honestly, I didn't mind the mullet. That that was him. That was that was you know him him just being one of the guys. But but inevitably, yeah, you, know, you have a mullet, you have a beard, and people think you don't take the job serious or something. So I think he's you know changing perception, and now people are probably taking him a little bit more seriously and they're actually getting to know him and they're finding out, man, he is a great guy. He's a great teammate. He's super coachable. He does awesome stuff in our community. Uh, but, but more so I think that it signifies he's put in a lot of time and effort here over the last eight months and he's changed his body. Um, obviously year two in the system, I think he's got a better understanding of what we're doing. Um, he's become a really good leader on our team um, if that, you know, if the, if the haircut signifies all that, then maybe I should have all my guys, you know, get the haircut. <laughs> exactly. No, I, I, obviously it, it would be just a metaphor for, for something. Um, and how is he, you know, uh, just taking on the leadership role with, um, with, with him being in year two of that coach? Well, I think, I think it's gone well, you know, he, a year ago when he, when he, when he got here, he was a transfer, um, you know, from Ohio State, and so that that takes time when you're when you're getting in that locker room. And he was in the midst of a quarterback battle with Hudson Card, uh, at, which really went all the way into training camp uh, up into the first game. This year, now he's been here for over a year. I really feel like that's he feels, and I feel like that's his locker room. You know, th- those guys believe in him. Um, he, he's he's a, much more apt to to step up when when things aren't going the way they should be going. He's much more apt to motivate. He's much more apt to do things outside of football with his teammates. And that, that just comes from confidence. That comes from getting to know people. Um, so that, that side of it, I think, is natural. You know, it, it always takes a little bit of time. But uh, he's really assumed that role, and I think he's, he's really earned the respect of his teammates and, and definitely in the locker room. Well, you know, uh, I, how many times, though, do you get asked about Arch Manning, though? I mean, when you're going around being – Coach, sorry. Pretty much, pretty much every interview. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just talking, but I'm talking about yeah. going around town. I mean, uh, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, and 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 obviously, Quinn has got uh, a significant amount of talent, you know, <laughs> and and uh, and and you have high expectations for him this year. But um, how does he handle the whole Arch Manning of it all? You got uh, he's handled it great. You know, I think one thing that we've really tried to do and we've tried to do everywhere we've been is, you know, focus on what you need to be working on and not worrying so much about what the other guy needs to be working on, but yet still be a great teammate for the other guys and, and support him on the things that we're asking him to work on because everybody's at a different stage and we've got a great quarterback room. Obviously Quinn is, is we think an elite player at the position, Malik Murphy is a very talented young man. Arch Manning is a really talented guy and, and going into year one with him. So they're all at different stages. They all have got their own you know, strengths. They all have got some weaknesses that we're working on. Uh, but in the end, the rapport in that room, I think, is what's important. You know, their connectivity, uh, their support for one another, that's, that to me, that, that room has got that such good rapport that it's kind of permeated throughout our locker room. That, that guys you know are working really hard and they're competing, but yet there's a lot of respect for for what other guys on the team are doing. What is your plan for Arch Manning this year, Steve? Get him to become the best player I can get him to become. You know, and you never know how seasons go um, with 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 injuries and whatnot. And so I just have to keep preparing him like I'd prepare every other player if his numbers called that he can go out there and and help us win. Um, the goal for his career is that, you know, when that time comes for, for him ultimately become the starting quarterback here, that he's ready to play and not just ready to play, but ready to play great football. You know, nobody wants to go out and be average. So uh, that's that's what we try to strive to do with, with all of our guys, especially at the quarterback position. But you're preparing him to play this year in, in when you say in case his number is called. Do you have any scenarios that you're willing to share on that front? 
Well, I hope I have no scenarios. That means our our guys didn't get hurt. So the the reality of it is focus on being the best player you can be and and keep working and keep grinding. Um, And like I said, if your number's called, can you go out there and perform and perform at a high level uh, to help us win? You know, this is, you know, this is Quinn's team. He's our starting quarterback and, you know, knock on wood that, 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 you know, there's nothing, nothing that, that would change that. Mm-hmm. That means he's playing good football and he's healthy. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.